<clears throat> okay, uh, right now we'll take a look at printing a perspective view, and we'll take a look at printing it both uh, as a rendering, which means everything is color and showing texture and light, and then we'll also take a look at how to print it as a line drawing. So under the presentation tab, you want to go to perspective view, and then a new window will pop up. And um, what you can do here is start to, it might slow down your computer a little bit, but you want to start to maneuver around. And I like to zoom in. I like to take the perspective um, as if I'm standing in the room. So um, you'll notice when the perspective window pulls up, you have this new dialog box here at the bottom. And if you hit this down arrow, you can move down a little bit so you're not so tall. Maybe move down to right there. So um, spend some time and really, um, really get your view the way you want it. And um, once you get your view where you want it, you can play with this little um, box here some more. There's some really unique, unique options. Um, this would just, this far left one is fit to window. Um, if you hit that, just be prepared for some changes. So you don't, you want to avoid that if you have your view already set up. Um, this texture display setting, you can change the background color um, from white to blue uh, if you're trying to illustrate something. You can, whether you want the floor visible or not visible, same thing with the ceiling, and then you can change, this is your opportunity to change the color of the ceiling. Most ceilings are white, um, so I don't really envision that happening too much, but there are a few different white options. And then you could also change the finish at that point if you wanted to. Um, and then you can view all items in the design, only selected items. So if you have a few things that you don't want to show, you can change it here. The next one over is light effects. And this is where you can um, use the sun to illuminate the space. You could do lights on the ceiling or an art, you know, an artificial light on the ceiling. You won't see the actual fixture. It'll just be kind of a glow. So if you do the light on the ceiling, I would recommend only using it if it's not visible. Because if it's visible, you can see it just kind of leaves this weird glow. Um, and without seeing the actual light fixture, it looks a little odd. Um, so you can do that, you can create a scene uh, and change the intensity. Oops, excuse me, this is really, um, this can really bog down your computer. So, you know, you can change the intensity here, make it darker in the room, make it lighter. So uh, that's, again, something kind of fun to play around with. And then these are just your settings to move around so that you get the view, the exact view that you want. This uh, clips, so it allows you to clip out certain parts of the rendering. So if you have something off to the side that becomes really skewed that you want to clip out, you could use that tool. And then this one, this um, view mode, the settings here, this is where you would change the, um, the rendering from either being a rendering or a hidden line drawing. So you would see the line. And let me show you the difference between a hidden line and wireframe. So hidden line, you only see the lines on the face of the cabinet. If we go to wireframe, this gets just way too complicated. You see all the lines, including the lines inside the cabinets and appliances. So if you're trying to do a line drawing, or a line drawing perspective, you want to do the hidden line. And then if you wanted to do a rendering of that same image, you would go to texture. And then there's also some other options, texture with edges, if you want to give it more of a sketchy look. Um, so this is where you would play with all of that. And then once you have it uh, set up to how you want it, you can come up here and you can do your page setup and your print preview and your print. So you could start with your page setup and make sure it's at 11 by 17. Make sure it's in landscape format. If not, use your pull down and find the correct paper size, landscape format, title block always at the bottom of the sheet. 
You can add margins if you want any margins and then just click OK. Once your page is set up, you can do a print preview and then print.